Today on Toy Shiz, welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, and today we are totally checking out the brand new Hasbro Marvel Legends What If series, that's a new series on Disney+, Plus. the zombie Captain America, and on the top of the box you see the Watcher, and he's the Build-A-Figure for this wave on the side of the box. Gorgeous artwork. I know old Jerry J. Wilson had his hand in that, both on the side and on the back of the box. And of course, you get a little write-up right here. You can screen grab as well, and you get to see all the different figures in the wave. I might pick up that zombie hunter Spidey. I don't know, maybe Doctor Strange. You know, I'm good with this zombie guy for right now, to be honest with you. And here's the barcode as well. They're starting to hit Walmart store shelves, and that's where I found mine. So, sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice, hot piece of flesh or whatever you're into eating these days this is a look at the brand new hasbro marvel legends what if the watcher build a figure wave zombie captain america so what makes a zombie you say well captain america you know he shows up to a distress call and lo and behold zombie shows up behind him gets the jump on him yeah old cap went down and bingo bango you got yourself one Actually, really cool figure. I gotta give it to Hasbro. And Disney, by the way, who, you know, kind of did away with Marvel Zombies a while ago in terms of action figures. Thank God we got those really awesome Diamond Select ones. But this guy rocks. And you get this really cool shield. Now, the blood on it is purple, right? I mean, it's, it's reddish purple, we'll just say. It's kind of got like a, a stained look to it. I actually really like it. If you're gonna go this route, if you gotta do it this way... It's fine. It works for me. It's not too grotesque and gruesome. So, you know, you gotta keep you gotta keep the kids in mind a little bit. But as far as Captain America goes, I mean this guy is awesome. Look at the mouth, his nose is missing. He's got those jowls right there on the side, which watch that episode when he screams, they like shake and wiggle. It's awesome. I I absolutely loved that episode of What If. Not a huge fan of the show in general, but I mean that was a good episode, we'll just say. It's hit and miss with me but it's got these teeth if only the jaw was articulated that would have been so cool you know do the kind of thing like oh man that would have been awesome now for the articulation all day every way i'll tell you this guy has it in spades i even like the little tattered look right there on his elbow that's cool i didn't even notice that until i started moving that that's awesome and of course on the opposite sides you know the stuff that's missing the costume where he's got bare arms and stuff like that you got blood splatter every which way tattered limbs nice upper diaphragm where you can see the rib cage he'll spin all the way around like i said it, it just works in terms of the articulation you can get this guy into a lot of zombie poses double jointed knees he will spin right here at the boot on the other side obviously he's got no boot left it's just flesh and he's got the ankle rock on both sides and yeah i really just dig it it's it's really cool with what they did but i especially love how much flesh is torn away on this guy especially in the legs you see the bones and the viscera and chunks are taken out of this guy to where you can see through it and i absolutely love that if you're gonna do a zombie if you're gonna do a zombie captain america superhero from marvel zombies of which it's based off of this is the way to do it i mean tattered and the bones and everything is sticking out the blood i'm amazed at how much blood they put on this guy too that is actually pretty dang cool so then you take his shield and you slip it over his arms and get him to hold it and yeah he looks great and he photographs really nicely this is a nice fun fall spooky figure the timing could not be better and i just absolutely love him i'm a big fan of marvel zombies as it is but i think in terms of making him zombie-ish putting the amount of articulation in pinless by the way all pinless on this guy this guy looks fantastic but if you want to scale him up with other what if characters from the episode here's bucky barnes he'll kind of sort of fit now he is more so in a way on the small side you know what i mean like especially when you look at spider-man and if you want you can have him bite spider-man and yeah you got yourself a zombie spider-man now which of course on the episode they didn't go that route but hey maybe eventually right <laughs> Now again with prior Diamond Select Marvel Select Marvel Zombies figures from way back when, they're in that 7 inch scale, so of course they're going to tower over the new Marvel Zombies Captain America, of course. And also, this is like the first time they're calling him Captain America. In the original Marvel Zombies comic, he was 
Colonel America, right? But if you're interested, I have a full video on all the Marvel zombies. You can check that out after you watch this one. If you're more into combining universes, sure, zombie Batman, kind of sort of go with them. They're all going to be a little bit taller, right? Because all the DC Directs, Marvel Selects are always in that 7-inch taller scale, along with NECA. You know, if you want to do the Army of Darkness, where, yeah, Ash actually met the Marvel zombies and yada yada... <laughs> They're wild comics, I'm just going to tell you. But really, for me and how I'm taking it, is that he's going to go great on my zombies shelf. I take all the superheroes, the Marvels, the DCs, they all go together beautifully. I would love to see more Marvel Legends, Marvel Zombies, from the What If or otherwise. Now, I did an interview with the Marvel Legends team recently where Dwight hinted at the basic fact of, yeah, if you see the zombies in that episode, it was before we had all seen it, if you see zombies in an episode and they do another what if line, yeah, there's a good possibility of those characters may show up. So, yeah, Iron Man, Scarlet Witch, Doctor Strange, Wong, all those characters. Hawkeye, Falcon. I mean, the list goes on and on. Can't have enough Marvel zombies, I'm just saying. MCU or comic book or otherwise, I'll take them because I think they're incredibly awesome. And I love the way this figure is. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new Marvel Legends What If Zombie Captain America. I'll tell you this. I don't know per se if I'm going to get the other figures. Right now, probably just the Zombie Hunter Spider-Man. Probably maybe the Doctor Strange. I am a fan of the What If. They're okay. I didn't really care for the last episode. But... I really like the Marvel Zombies. It is really a hit and miss with me. Largely, it's watchable, it's cool, it's whatever. But, uh, yeah, if you want to go more with Marvel Zombies any day, heck, even make, like, an animated feature and really delve in the original comic book, I'll be right there day one. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about this new zombie Captain America. Is he for you? Will you be grabbing? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Captain America zombification-wise. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, I got this bite, man. It's, I don't know, it's crazy. But I got this really interesting craving for not only coffee, but like human flesh. You know? Nah. It's <laughs> so stupid of an ending. And what do you do? Let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.